Glory a Dios. This is Pastor Johan van der Hoeven and Jennifer van der Hoeven from South Africa bringing you greetings and blessings to all the listeners of Radio ICAM CCN and to Pastors Carlos and Maria Esther de Blanco from Rosario, Argentina. I thank you for the opportunity that has been given me to speak to you for a few moments today on what I believe is the heartbeat of the Father in this current season and moment of time. I believe with all of my heart that God in this season is ready and wants to shake nations, shake cities, shake neighborhoods, shake communities and manifest and demonstrate the power of His Spirit in mighty signs, wonders and miracles as never before. I believe that we are in a season of mighty Holy Spirit power, a season wherein God is ready and at the door to open the floodgates of heaven and to pour out His Spirit upon all flesh in a demonstration of His mighty power and of His Holy Spirit such as we have never seen or encountered before. I believe we are on the threshold of a mighty revival to break through. A true and an authentic revival, not man-made, but sent from the very throne of God Himself. The question today that I want to present to you is, however, what are the qualifications that God is looking for in order to find men and women at this time and in this season to anoint them in such a powerful way that He will be able to send them in the power of His Spirit to go forth and to shake nations and to shake communities and to shake neighborhoods and to shake homes. What is that which God is looking for that will make the difference and that will make Him open the floodgates of heaven at this time? Then I want to say to you that before God can shake a nation and before God can shake a city, and before God can shake a neighborhood or a community, He needs to shake a man first. In order for God to shake a nation, He must find a man and a woman that is willing to be shaken with His power. Before God can move on the outside, he is looking for a man and a woman whom he can move in on the inside. And the problem and the challenge today is that nobody really wants to be shaken by God's power. Everybody wants to be stirred, but few want to be shaken. Everybody wants to be stirred by the Holy Spirit. We want the nice experiences of God. We want the Holy Spirit to reign. We want to see the Spirit move. But we do not really want God to come to our lives and to confront us and to bring the hammer of His Word and the fire of His Word and to come and shake our lives in a way that He is able 
to shake out everything in us that is not of him. In order to purify us, to send his spirit and his power in such a way to purify our lives from everything that is not well pleasing in his sight. Few people are willing to be shaken by the power of God. Few people are willing to humble themselves and say, God, I need you. Come and shake me and make me and mold me into what you need me to be in order for you to use me and to send me and to move me to be able to shake a nation, to shake my community, to shake my house, to shake my city. Come and shake me, Lord, so you can use me. My challenge to you today is, in the nation of Argentina, will you be the man, will you be the woman that God will be able to lay a hold of in this season? Will you be the man and the woman who will say, yes, come and shake me, Lord. Come and change me. Come and show me whatever is out of place in my own heart. Change everything I know. Empty myself as you emptied Paul of all of his wisdom, of all, everything that he knew and understood how things should work, how things should be done. Come and take it all out of me that as he, I may say, that I may know you in the power of your resurrection, in the power of the Holy Spirit, that the power and the knowledge of the Almighty God might become functional in me, that the power of the Almighty God, the wisdom and the knowledge of God would move me across the nation, across the land, Nothing of self, no knowledge of man, but the power of God moving mightily in a mighty demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Can God find such men and such women in this season and in this time? Can he find you today? Can he touch you today? Can he shake you today so that he may through your life be able to shake others, to shake cities and to shake the nation of Argentina? If this is your heart cry today, if your answer is yes, Lord, come and shake me, then I want to pray with you right now. And I want to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with this man and this woman who is crying to you right now, who is humbling themselves right now, crying out, come and shake me, Lord. Come and change me, Lord. Send your fire in my life. Consume me, Lord. Shake out everything that is not of you. Anoint me with your fire. Send me forth into the nation. Send me into the city of Rosario with your power and with your fire and with your Holy Spirit. Send me. Here I am. I pray right now, Lord, that you do this for this man, for this woman. I pray right now that you will meet them in such a way. I pray for your fire to fall, your spirit to move. I pray for a mighty demonstration of the Holy Spirit to be ignited inside of them, that they will move with your fire. Do it for them, Lord. Hear their heart cry, ignite them, send revival in Argentina, 
Send revival in Rosario. Ignite your fire upon your people once again that the glory of the Lord may fill the land, may cover the land as the waters cover the sea.